Hi there and welcome to another video from Max Revs. It seems like a very long time ago I was in front of a camera bringing you content. Uh, I've had a lot on this year, however I'm very happy and glad to be behind the camera. I recently just got an email from Vanis in Hong Kong and he's just taken ownership of a 981 GT4 and it's really special to me when someone reaches out via email to say I've watched all your videos, I've kind of made my mind up to buy a Cayman and then they kind of like share their warmth and happiness with me. Really kind of powerful feeling for me uh, and that's kind of why I make these videos on this channel. It's certainly not for the three or five dollars a month ad revenue when I put in all this time and effort and expenditure on gear. But anyway, in this video, I'd like to discuss what type of a Cayman owner are you? In the backdrop, you will effectively see pictures of a Euro road trip I've just had through France, Germany and Switzerland with an amazing bunch of people, amazing landscapes, and it was truly life-changing. It was a six uh, day trip, so you could have kind of sl sliced off the first and the last day for transit days, the Alps, the Black Forest, the, the Mulhouse region. It was just truly spectacular, uh, truly life-changing, and I will explain why in further videos to follow. But right now, I'd just like to talk about what type of a Cayman owner are you? So if we start with the first one, I should say, is are you an aspirational owner with no desire to purchase or ability to purchase? So, you know, you probably love a Porsche Cayman, but it may just not fit your needs in terms of your family needs, not enough seats, Maybe you need to, you've got some budget constraints or you've got nowhere to park it. So do you kind of look at the Porsche Cayman and go, wow, what a platform, but you're not really looking to kind of back that up with a purchase for various reasons. That's perfectly okay for me. We all love Caymans on this channel. You don't need to own a Cayman. Uh, the second category I would say is, do you actually own a Cayman? And are you in a Cayman that kind of like, is your ultimate Cayman or are you working through the Cayman range? So for example, I had a 987 Cayman, that was kind of my forever car as far as I thought. And then as I grew to love the platform, I had that desire to kind of own a, a, a kind of more special car. You know, every Cayman is special. The definition of special comes from within us. And for me, that was the 981 GT4. So are you a Cayman owner and possibly working your way through Cayman ownership? Maybe when needs allow, you could possibly go from a base to a sport to a GTS, or you know, do you have a Cayman which that's it, you've locked in, it's more than enough car for you, you don't have the budget to allocate further on the vehicle, and you're just happy with that. I mean, I'd love to hear in the comments below which kind of category you fall into. I'll try and I'll put the numbers up on the screen where one is aspirational, no intent to purchase. Two would be you are a Cayman owner. And then I guess within two, there's also, is that your kind of forever car or you know, are you looking to trade up? And then let's kind of go to, to number three, where you just may be passing through a Porsche Cayman. So I know a number of people, they've maybe come from BMWs, they may go to a 911. They'll have a Cayman for a short while, but it's not truly their forever car. So they love the Cayman, but then after maybe a couple of years, they may move to a BMW, a 911, or you know some other type of platform within that kind of range. Even I know people who've gone to a Mercedes AMG. So, you know, would you say that, you know, you love the Cayman, but you're passing through. So, so level three, category three will be, I'm a Cayman owner, but I'm just passing through a bit like the Monopoly board as you're just kind of passing through jail on that little corner on there. So that's category three. And then number four, which is, I guess is where I fit in. You have a Cayman, it's your ultimate Cayman, it's your halo Cayman, and you have no intention to purchase any other car. That is your halo vehicle forever, okay? And I would like to say that's exactly where I am with a 981 GT4. Um, I can probably take this moment to just talk about, you know, even the channel and where I'm going with the channel. I think as I was passing through Cayman ownership with a 987, with the aspiration to always get a GT4, that was always driving me. You could actually say that my own personal story has, has kind of dampened a little bit. Having my Halo car, my ultimate GT4, there's, there's a part of me which is like, well, what's next? I don't want another car. I don't want a hybrid Cayman, a Lotus Amira, or I don't want any other car. And to some extent, I guess in terms of bringing you video content, you know, I, I kind of spend money on my car, bring you the video, which is quite an expensive way to, to make YouTube content. But my 981 GT4 is in amazing condition. It's had the geometry all done at center gravity. I've had the under tray rinsed off and cleaned and protected at Auto Farm. It is my ultimate car. So potentially I've been struggling to think of, you know, ideas or something to share with you to bring new content because to me, my car is almost peak Cayman for me. In fact, 
it is peak Cayman for me. So in terms of what do I bring you on the channel, um, I'd love to bring you more Cayman content and even Cayman content through the audience. So if you have stories you'd like to share, if you'd like your car featured, if I can come visit you and make a Cayman uh, video, that would be absolutely amazing. So I just, um, I just, that's all I really wanted to cover in this video. The fact that, you know, where, what type of Cayman owner are you? We just try to, you know, get you to stop for a moment and think about where do you fit in? Are you just sort of passing through? Have you got your ultimate Cayman or are you actually looking for another Cayman? I do know many people on this channel who really go through the classifieds. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the backdrop on the scenery behind me. As I said, it was a truly inspirational trip. Uh, and as I said, life-changing, which I'll come on to uh, later in further videos, uh, it truly was a very special trip for me. My, my favorite trip, the most moving, and um, it's just a great bunch of people with no issues. So the weather was actually spectacular. We had about 35 degrees. It's probably a bit too hot uh, at ground level, about 25 up in the Alps, where you're almost 3,000 meters above sea level. So I'll bring you all that content later. I just wanted to bring you a bit of a, a channel update as to where I am, why I haven't brought material. Uh, you know, my kind of my eldest was doing final exams this year, and there was an element of like, well, what next for the channel? Um, I still need to think about that. Um, just having emails from Vanis, who's from Hong Kong, just kind of engaging with me made me think that I do want to continue this channel. I'm never somebody to just make a video for the sake of making a video. Um, I have no goals to meet in terms of you know, ad revenue, sponsorship deals. This is just a hobby for me to engage with other human beings on this planet who are really passionate about their Cayman. So enjoying life and cars to the max, and I look forward to bringing you more content in the next video. See ya.